Off the edge, Lily. Off the edge, Lily. Damn, damn it! Okay. I think we're... Get out of here, wolf. I think we're finally about to... There's more wolves. Finally about to make some progress. I will kill all of you. Come hither. Come hither. That didn't hit anything. Well, that's deeply upsetting. All right, this is ridiculous. This is a very large tree. There has to be a Korok seed up here. Anyway, as you may notice, there's a ton of bridges. Yep, there's a ton of bridges in the distance, or fairly close, let's be honest. So that's got to be the legit way up into the Rito place. And then probably from there, the guy's like, what up, want to do the flight range, blah, blah. Sweet, there's also a stable. We can check out the horse armor and actually save and stuff. Beautiful. By save, I mean have a checkpoint, because there's going to be a shrine next to the stable, because there always is. Except I don't know where the bloody shrine is. Fairies. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so what you probably do is you go to the Rito village, then from there he's like, come to the flight range, then from there that's how you get on the Divine Beast. It's all kind of making sense and sort of, you know, melding together or, or finally uh, defogging in my brain or, or whatever I'm trying to say here. Like, I'm starting to remember, you know, he's starting to believe. So I think that's what's going on with that. Hey, it's Cass. Good old big Cass. Oh look, wild berries, when you don't bloody need them. Hello, Castifer. I mean, again, I'm so glad to see you in one piece. We're actually very close to my hometown of Rito Village, and I must admit, I feel incredibly homesick. I had to leave my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're ju doing just fine, but you see, I cannot go home until I fulfill my promise to my teacher. A promise? Mm. My promise to... On second thought, now's not the time. But if I'm able to learn all of the ancient songs, I will tell you of my promise back in my hometown. But listen to me blathering on, I need to focus on my craft. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Sure, Cass. Excellent. Without further ado... <coughs> Yo, quick editor's note. This song is extremely long. If you don't want to hear it, skip to 516 in the video. 516. You're welcome. The kingdom of Hyrule is a vast and storied land, oft grasped in the palm of a villainous hand, a dark force of destruction many times undone, rises once again, Ganon, the calamitous one, but hope survives in Hyrule, for all is not lost, two brave souls protected no matter the cost. Jesse, James. A goddess, blood princess, and a fearless knight, they appear in each age to fight the good fight. I feel like we've heard this blasted song like eight times. That battle with Ganon, I've committed to song to keep it through time no matter how long. Just in case we have, I do apologize, but I can't remember. Now begins the second verse, listen and you'll know of their battle with Ganon 10,000 years ago. Or oh, you're rhyming knowing ago. Eh, kind of works, I suppose. The kingdom of Hyrule was once a land of lasting peace, a culture of such strength and wit that suffering did cease. Thank god, I thought I'd mute the game audio for a moment. Oh dear, that would have sucked the big one. The Ganon lurked beneath the surface, strengthening its jaws, so the ancient people of Hyrule sent out to help the cause. This is a long song, Cass. Their efforts bore fruit in an automated force to help avert calamity by sealing it at its source. What's your favorite source? Let me know in the comments. Four giant behemoths for which power never ceased. Each of these titans were called a divine beast. To me, it depends what I'm having. Like, if I'm ordering like Subway, honey mustard, man. Are free world machines and free world machines that hunted down their prey? These guys were built to last so they could join the fray. I have to read really quick sometimes because this doesn't give you very long. To guide the beasts in battle, warriors were needed, so four champions pledged to see Ganon defeated. Divine Beast, Guardians, Princess, Princess and Knight. A plan to route Ganon was looking at sights. I guess he's something about plight now, right? But Ganon was their plight. He brought the good fight. And when Calamity Ganon reared its head, Hyrule rose against it. The optimism of Hyrule all the more incensed it. Or not. Never mind, we'll just skip over the entire last verse. Ganon raged in its assault, boiling with hate. It gnashed its teeth and thrashed about, but it was all too late. That didn't really rhyme. I mean, hate and late, I guess, but it was a bit of a, a long wind. Uh, the Guardians kept the heroes safe through every hour. That was until they died. 
then things went sour. Uh, the Divine Beasts unleashed attacks that weakened Ganon's power. Something, something, final hour. The hero with the Sealing Sword struck the final blow, and the holy power of the princess sealed Ganon's soul. That is a terrible picture of Zelda in particular. She looks like uh, Shrek's wife. And that is the story of the brazen attack on Calamity Ganon 10,000 years back. By the way, when I was picking like mushrooms and shit up, I was thinking to myself, I would really love it if there was farming in Breath of the Wild too, so you could grow your, you know, your own wild berries and stuff like that, for example. It probably won't happen, but it would be cool. Thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometime. I don't know about that, Castifer. Now, I swear to God, if he sings that bloody song again, I'm going to kick him in the nuts. Uh, you need curry rice. This guy also had a quest. I guess you're the, the, you're the same person, essentially. It's straight talking to you, anyway. My guy, you're here to do the thing, right? Have you been playing the messenger as well? Uh, that's right, yeah. Huh? You actually understood what I was saying? You got some sort of sidekick powers or something? I guess we'll... Well, look who it is. You're here to do that thing, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, what, what thing? Come on, you know. The thing. Climbing the snowy mountains. I was confident I could handle the cold, so I didn't wear anything special, but the Hebrew... Hebra... Hebrew mountains are really cold like seriously cold cold enough to send you to your grave I'd say so be careful out there yeah <laughs> thanks pal I'm an old man my name's Lester look at my leg the thing about me is I just can't get enough spice in my life spicy I need that burny tingle I need curry rice I don't have any rice I got I got peppers though uh, now I have Hylian rice on hand, which I need to make curry rice, but I'm fresh out of gore and spice. I don't have that either. I can't just run off and leave the stable if you happen to get your hands on some gore and spice. Give it to me. Sure, pal. Next time I go find the Gorons. Thank you, Kylie, son. Curry rice always warms me up right now. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can put our armor on our blasted horse. I'm going to find stables. Get your face. Uh, I would like to take a horse. How do I... How do I... Oh yeah, Lily's our best horse. That's that's upsetting. Take horse. Uh, so how do I change the arm? There's got to be an option for that. Maybe I just wasn't looking correctly. It was probably right there under my nose. Let's have a look here. Um, board the horse? Is that how I do it? Board. I'll take Lily. Okay, that. You're not you're not helping, man. Ah, let me Google it. Okay, so it says you have to go to the people out the front feeding the horses. So basically, uh, someone who should be here, but frankly isn't. Huh. Well then, that that, uh, that throws a spanner in the works, don't it? Is it you? You've got a broom. You look like you're handy. Uh, do I need a bit? No. No, I don't. Um, let's get our horse out. It She's in the stable. What am I doing? Let's, let's get our horse out. And then we'll see if we can then... Ringleader! That's what I called him because... It's always the black one that's the ringleader or, or something. That, I can't remember what the joke was, but it was it was about racist stereotypes. It's not me being racist. It's 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 a joke, alright? Leave me the fuck alone. Um, but yeah, there's, there's no one here. That's, that sucks the big one. What the hell are you doing? Alright, let me look around. I'll see if we can find him. Or maybe they'll just show up. Also, I'm going to nick their wood. It's mine now. Well, hey, Beetle arrived, so that's nice. I'm tempted to cook up our stuff on that cooking pot and sell it to him, and I really should. I want you to have this. You gave me an ancient arrow. I think on these, like, basically an insta-kill on a lot of stuff, I think they may be really good even against bosses. You know, like the Ganons in the Divine Beast and what have you. An arrow created using ancient technology to be struck with one is to be consigned to oblivion in an instant. It deals devastating damage even against Guardians. Nice. It even works on those Guardians things. It's amazing. I hear it works best if you hit the Guardians in the eye with it. This old guy named Robbie gave it to me. To find him, go way north. But yeah, the tech lab. Yeah, yeah, I know Robbie. I'm aware. I need to go back there and hand him a thing. Probably should go do that. I'm gonna buy his arrows because he always, you know, he's always he's always selling the arrows. He's our friend Beetle. He's a, he's a good fellow like that. And I'm hoping I can afford all of them. Oh, I definitely can. He has a disappointingly low amount of arrows. Well, screw you too, Beetle. But still, it's a lot more than the like one that we had or something like that. I think we got in the region of close to thirty. So 
It's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, there's no one out here feeding horses or anything like that, so I just can't change the saddle at the moment, I guess? Maybe it's only at certain stables. I really don't know. And also, where is the shrine? Because there's always a shrine right next to a, a stable, so you can quick travel, like, every single time. I mean, there's one back there, next to the flight range, but that's too far away, surely. Let me have a look around a little bit, see if we can spot a shrine. If not, we'll just carry on and go to the Rito village, finally. Whoa. Yeah, I don't see one anywhere around here, which is honestly, I think, a first. That's very strange. Okay, well, I'm not sure. Oh, Jesus. There's not much we can do about that, and the frame rate's going to hell. I want that truffle. Damn it, that's my horse. Oh, good. You can play. These people just don't know it. Stop it. Get out of here. I'm going to chop down the tree while I'm at it. Ow, the tree almost killed me. The bee bit my bottom, and now my bottom is big. Oh, my Lord, I'm almost bloody dead. Good God. Alright, let's get out of here. Come back! I need you! Now, Lily... Control better, please. Good Lord. No, li li no, stop it. Go ahead, talk to this bird person. Ah, they seem to be fine. I mean, maybe they'll attack me, but like, wait a minute. We haven't said you could come in here at all. But like I say, they seem to be okay right now, so let's just, let's just roll with it. I mean, for God's sakes, I'm the hero of time and space and twilight and the ages and seasons and God knows what else. I'm the hero of a lot of stuff, you know? So put some respect on my name, basically, is what I'm saying. Okay, pl Lily, please. For God's sakes, Lily. For God's sakes. Oh, by the way, the uh, shrine is almost accessible. So, yeah, I mean, this is probably the closest one to the, uh, you know what, I'm ditching you. Good timing. This is probably the closest one to the, the stable. Which frankly blows my mind, because it's still... I mean, that's a lot of bridges we just crossed, you know? How very dramatic. Oh, the controller! Stop it! Look at it. So majestic. So mechanical. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm talking mad shit. I'm tired. <laughs> Excuse me. Just be be thankful it's a hiccup and not me belching, because, uh, you know, there's been a lot of that. Again, I have a gastrointestinal issue, and we don't know what it is yet. I hope it's nothing serious, but it sucks. It sucks. Dude, it's been sucking the frame rate, man. Good. I hate to be that guy, but it's so bad around here. Good lord, it's like consistently bloody dreadful. Now where is the shrine? Oh, it's all the way on the other side. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's sakes. Where? Well, whatever. Let's head up here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, check out the music. Get out the music. Is there a way we turn up the volume for you? I guess there is in there. Let me do that real quick. Because I feel like it's still a little bit too low. Let's put it to like 25. It's on 23. You're welcome. Rock, it's a massive boost. Absolutely massive. What are you doing there, fella? I... Is that... I, honest to God, don't know if you're a lady or not. I think you might be. Is that like a weird bird bra you're wearing? Are those boobs or are those pecs? What are you rocking under that? I don't know. So have you seen it? Divine Beast Varmado. Ah, that's what it's called. Yeah, I, I saw it. That is to say, I've seen it. It's a reference. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it, but I have bigger problems. My mom is so annoying. She asks me to help out the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. I open my own store and sell whatever I want. Whatever. I do what I want. Uh, is there a way or a place around here that we can trade in our thingy majiggers or stuff? You know. One of those, I think there is, one of those little uh, idol things to trade in our spirit orbs. I think there is, but, uh, oh, can I actually buy it? Oh, I think we had to be friends. Nice. I'll take them all. Can I afford all of them? I mean, yeah, we're very, I really should cook up that food because we have so much meat. Let me have a look real quick. Yeah, 17 gourmet and the gourmet is the good stuff. Prime is pretty good as well. We got 52. Good Lord. I think we have regular cutlets and meat as well. Oh, no, okay, I guess it's just those two. But still, that's a lot of stuff, man. So it's, uh, it's a lot of bank right there. It's also a lot of cooking, which is why I haven't done it. Oh, speaking of which, 
Yeah, no, we're gonna need the bloody bank, aren't we? Because we want to dress up like a bird person. I want to dress up like a bird person too, Daddy. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll buy that. I'm trying to buy like all the armor sets in the game, in case you hadn't noticed. But uh, this thing's so cute. It looks like Orville. We gotta find you a picture of Orville. Hang on. Orville's green. That's really the only difference. Orville. The duck. All right. So this is gonna be wonky. It's gonna be very wonky. <laughs> is a puppet, by the way. It's a puppet. All right. So can we go to full screen? Uh, that's probably not how we do it. That's probably not how we do it. Is it this one? I think so. Yes. So that's the desktop, because that's the one I'm technically playing the game on, but don't ask, all right? It's complicated. Can't do that thing, is it, where it's just going to show you a black, bloody screen. All right, I think I can awkwardly drag this into the other screen, so give me a second. I realize this is so professional. Okay, so let me see. I can't see the screen, bear in mind. There you go. There's Orville. That's Orville the duck. Let's drag this bad boy back over here. Beautiful. Absolutely flawless execution. I'm so proud of myself. And then we go back to the switch. We switch back to... Ow! I pulled out my earphones. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. The earphones are back. But anyway, yeah. Look, that thing... Looks. I just bumped it. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I'm accosting this child. I don't mean to. Uh, yeah, that thing looks like... Oh, oh, perfect. All right. Well, I'm going to cook. Give me a moment. Bloody hell. All right. So this is the last one. By the way, I just had one of these do like a critical. It makes a different sound. And instead of restoring 10 plus, well, I guess, 15, it was like 20. Uh, so yeah, I made all of these basically from here downwards. And these are all basically the same. Like, look at this. Look at this crap. We're going to make some serious bang here. Just go back to the armor store, wherever the hell it was. I think it was this one. Sell all this crapola to this lovely person, because of course you want my food, even though you're an armor clerk. But, you know, whatever. Uh, and then uh, we're going to make bank. So, um, anyway... You can get criticals while you're cooking, and I did read somewhere or something that apparently you have a much higher chance of that, or maybe a guarantee during a blood moon. So that's interesting. But blood moon happenings very short space of time. Why are we getting so little money for this? What the hell? Why are these ones worth so much more? Four restore. So why is something that is just a four restore worth way less? Like look at this, four restore plus one. 50 gold. For restore, not plus one, 490. What? Okay. I guess we're not making as much money as I thought, but still, we're gonna make a good amount of money, so. You know, whatever. Alright, on a momenta. I like how this store clerk, whatever the hell you wanna call him, the owner, alternates between going, hmm? Ah. Hmm? Ah. Every time you sell, one is hmm, the next one is ah. Then the next one is hmm, then listen, listen. So next one will be ah. Listen, listen, damn it. See ah. Mm hmm ah. So this will be mm. Mm hmm ah. Mm hmm ah. Oh, how frightfully awful! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, since I I've brought you in here awkwardly, I guess we'll just sell the last couple on camera. Oh, then I scrolled like a madman, like an absolute loose cannon. There we go. Beautiful. So that's how much money we have. We now have 4,232. Boom. And this is going to cost us 550, 600, and 1,000. So it's 2,150, I think. All right. So let me buy this real quick. And now to dress like a beautiful bird, man. Look at me. I look glorious. You know what would make us look more glorious? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Yes, it's really bugging me that we're missing a quarter of a heart. It's so completely and utterly unnecessary. But we do have acorns. And we go, problem that never existed, solved. Okay, I I, I, uh, I absorb that burp for you. You are welcome. So, whoever we're looking for seems to be just over yonder. It's not you, is it? They're further up. Wait a minute, this person has a quest, though. It's Molly. Hello, Molly. Want me to tell you a story? I love stories! Awesome, me too. Ahem. My name is Molly. I sound like this. 
Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a big man and looked below into the northwest, when suddenly he saw a huge snow white bird with his wings spread wide open. My grandpa took off flying after the snow white birdie. And as he got a little closer to the white birdie, grandpa saw something super important inside his belly. The birdie had swallowed... Well, what is it? I always get sleepy around that part of the story, so I don't remember, sorry. Oh, I know where that big tree is, though. It's over there, you see it? Grandpa said that he saw the Snow White Birdie from that tree. It's not a tree, it's a statue, I think. Hmm. 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 Now, now, what did... What did that Snow White Birdie swallow? I can't hear the story from Grandpa anymore. Grandpa fucking kicked the bucket. Alright, well, whatever. So, that's what that bird sounds like. Don't ask me why. Let's go hit up the shrine. And we're not going to end this episode until we enter Val... M M Meadow? Pretty sure that's what it's got. I think I, think I remembered it. Shocking. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. Whatever you need. Oh, that you God. What the hell am I looking at, man? Okay, I remember doing this. And I want to say I completely bloody fluked it. So, you know. Uh, do we put, do we, no. We've probably got to smack these things. And then they change the direction. Or something that seems like such a waste of a weapon though yeah that's what happens all right uh what do we have that's crap this is honestly one of our worst weapons i guess we use this because well it's gonna break anyway well I'm sure we'll break it um okay so what the hell are we actually trying to achieve here honest to god i don't know i really really don't know i think we probably have to turn them all on yeah yeah got to turn them on um which means we want Oh my. Okay, so the thing we need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I see it. I see it. I see it. This one is pointlessly facing this way because all these ones are going to be on anyway. So we turn it over there like that. And then that turns those two on. And then we just need to get this one on. And then there. Yeah, we could. Okay, no, there's, there's two more over there. Hmm. Move, damn you. It'd be nice if this didn't take durability, but. It's Breath of the Wild, so it probably takes durability. So, to get these two on, we have absolutely no choice. Correct me if I am wrong. Yeah, there's no no other ones that align with it, so we have to have both of these facing that way. So we have to have this one this way. My word. My word. My word. My word. Alright, so yeah, we're going to have that one that way. And we're also going to have this one this way. But what are we missing here? Is it just this one? It is just this one. Right, what can we change to make this work? Oh, no. Um... Is it... Mm, well... Well... Well, testicles. Alright, give me a second. I'm gonna... I'm gonna think before I act. I know, shocking. We'll have to some deliberation, because we need this one to face that way where it is. We have to therefore use either this one, or this one. Now, the question then becomes, which one do we use? Uh, because, if we move this, those two are not on. And if we move this one, those two are not on. And we did establish that this one has to be... So therefore... Therefore, it has to be this one. Alright? God diggity damn it. It has to be this one. And therefore, if it has to be that one, this one, thusly, has to face this way. There's no twist. And if this one has to face this, why do they all turn in the wrong direction to the way I want? If this one has to face this way, then this one over here... Wait, no, I've done it. I am the greatest puzzle solver that ever lived! Bow before your king. All right, let me look around to see if there's any... Oh, uh, yes, there's totally a door up here. Let's go have a look. The treasure, shall we? Is there any booty up here? That's where I came in, yeah. That... Yes, there's something... Yes, there's something you're trying to hide something from me. I see how it is. How do we get there? Oh, we just... Okay, we go this way. Um... What? Oh, hang on. No, I still don't get it. Oh, I do get it! Wait, is it really just that? It re what? What? The 
There's still the puzzle, Nintendo. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, whatever. Free stuff, I guess. Makes no damn sense. I have to. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, the second round, I do mean the second round at the shrine, we're going to teleport to the ancient lab, hand in those bloody cores, because we only need to hand three of them, and then we upgrade, like, our camera, or the, I think it's the stasis thing, actually, which is quite important, because then we can stasis enemies. Because I think at the moment we can't. Um, and the other question is, is there any more... What the hell's... What's with this weird reflection on the water? Oh, peculiar. I guess it's from the roof. Is there any more chests around here, perhaps laying at the bottom of the water, perhaps, you know, a magnetic? It doesn't actually seem so, though... Hold up, wasn't there something through there that we could shoot through that gap? Also, there is this. Ah, there is a chest there. Okay, so we just need to use Cryonis, or whatever it's called, to get to that. Well, looky, looky, there's actually two of them. I don't know if it's two chests, but there's another opening, so we should check it out at least. All that for a blasted sapphire. Well, it's more about the completion, really. Just, you know, knowing we got all the treasure chests in the shrine. And, the, yeah, I mean, I'm not much of a completionist, as I'm sure you are aware of if you've seen me play video games. Like, usually I don't 100% stuff. And I have been asked, by the way, am I going to 100% Breath of the Wild? Absolutely not. There is a 0% chance that that is going to happen. Because 900 Korok Seeds can kiss my nuts. Uh, you know... Uh, but however, I am intending to do all the DLC stuff. Like, we're going to get the Master Sword. We're going to do the, the thing to upgrade the Master Sword. We're going to get the bike. Because there's, there's some kind of ancient tech bike thing. Like, literally a motorbike. I don't know if we can get that yet, by the way. If anyone knows that, if uh, we can do any of that stuff yet. Because I know one of them is called, like, the Master Trials or something. That's probably for just for the Master Sword upgrade. I don't think it has anything to do with the bike. But I'm not sure. So if anyone has any advice on things like that, cool things that we can do DLC related uh, that we don't need the Master Sword for, because obviously we still don't have enough, you know, stamina vessels to train for heart containers, blah, blah, blah. Not that we've even found the Master Sword yet, because we haven't found the, the Lost Woods, because, you know, it's bloody lost. That's why we haven't found it. Think logically, people. Come on now. So, yeah, if you have any advice on uh, if we can, or just information, I guess, on if we can go for the bike or anything like that, yeah, would be super handy. Would appreciate it. Oh, you know, not just the bike, but anything like that. Can't remember who we have to speak to or anything. Is it Pura? Ancient, ancient materials. Basis. Yes, here we go. So we need three ancient cores. We do have them. Beautiful. So yeah, like I, like I say, I believe this allows us to land stasis enemies, which, I mean, the stasis has a very long cooldown. But, you know, being able to freeze a Lionel, even for a little bit, seems really handy. You know, if we just need a small break because of something, sounds handy. And yes, I did just smash the controller on the desk by mistake. Sorry, because you probably heard that. And hey, I talked through the, the drippy bit. So I had to get it out. Less editing for future, Jason. Thanks, past Jason. Stop all the time for an object. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And it will now stop evil creatures. Yep. Move even larger objects. What? 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 I don't know, whatever. Alright, we back, cuz... And of course the person we're looking for has now moved like an ignorant ass. But so be it. Uh, where did you go? You're over here. Uh, now I did give thought to going and using the spirit orbs that we have. However, I think we have... Uh, okay, well, so we need two more. I'm just going to wait until we get enough to get the two upgrades and then go use them. So where is this final person we're looking for? They're like down here or something? Hello? Where in the hell are you? Oh, hey! Yeah, Maya, there's a statue right here. Ba -ba -ba -bum. So how many have we got now? I mean, okay, so you obviously start off with one full wheel. So we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six. And we need 13 hearts, so we need 10 additional ones. So we need another four more. So we need another... We have two already, so we need four, eight, nine, seven, nine, twelve, 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 in the grand scheme of things, to be honest, uh, but it's not a little amount either. Uh, there is a, um, a what'd you call it, like uh, an inn around here. I'm actually going to go stay at the inn really quickly, because frankly, I don't know where the hell the person is that we're supposed to be talking to, so i going to go use the inn. Also, apparently I can't find the inn. So, 
You may be able to tell from the sun change from uh, night to day that I did sleep at the inn and then I realized that the person we're supposed to be speaking to hasn't moved and that's because they'd been up here the entire time and instead of going further up, I was going down to look for them. Which is probably the first time in my life that going down has ever been a problem for me. Not normally even on the radar, to be honest. So, yeah, I think it's this big fat owl bastard. Hello. I'm going to call you Fat Albert. Ah, uh, a visitor, welcome to... Uh -huh. The object on your hip, could it be... Are you supposed to be the owl from Ocarina of Time, by the way? Because you look kind of similar, but like older and fatter. The object on your hip, forgive me, where am I, Maz? I am Canelli, elder of Rito Village. Now, then, is that not a chic asleep dangling from your hip? Nah, that's my cock. It just looks kind of mechanical. Oh my, so is it true? So it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master of Volley. Um, we don't call those people champions. They all died. Uh, one of the few able to board Divine Beast of our meadow. Oh, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. The boy must be a mere descendant and inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Uh, forgive me. I am a fool. Champion descendant, if you would listen to an old man's request, you must have... You would have my eternal gratitude. Sure, why not, right? Thank you truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with the divine beast of armor, though, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. Oof. Very suggestive. Uh, I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. And you're the elder and they don't listen to you? You need to, you need to start running this place with an iron... An iron fist. Uh, Teba and Hearth tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well, and Hearth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Meadow alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please find Teba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Var Meadow. Teba. That's a reference, isn't it, to that chick that you do that one shrine with in... Uh, Wind Waker, I do believe. Tepper's wife, Saki, I may know where he is. You perverts, it's Saki, not Saki. Ooh, the hell. What are you doing here, human-looking lady? Get out of here. Is this... Oh, no. I've fallen, and I can't get up. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're up there. God damn it! Alrighty, hello, are you Saki? Fantastic. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Tepper, in the fight against Meadow. Yeah, Meadow actually, I think, is the one that's a reference to her, because she was like a, a bird lady. I don't think they... Are they the Rito in, in Wind Waker? Because in Wind Waker, the races are all different. I don't think they're Rito. They're like something else. But anyway, her name's like Medley? I think it's Med Medley. Of course it's Medley, because Wind Waker music Medley. Yeah, 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 makes sense. So Meadow, Medley, I think it's a reference to that. Anyway, uh, but to tell the truth, there is not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Did he happen to go to the flight ranch? Where did he go? Last time you saw him, where did you leave him? Well, my husband headed to the place called the Flight Range. <gasps> it's in Drac Dronox Pass. You shall not Dronox Pass. At the base of the Hebra Mountains. It's a place where Rita Warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run of meadow. As it happens, he made his way there to the Flight Range on foot this time. Well, he's not going to find a bow there because I nicked it. And this guy can help me. If you take off from Rivali's Landing, it's a straight shot down to the Flight Range. Rivali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito Champion Rivali, so named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Are you going to tell me about these events? Link. Link. Remember, Link, who you are. Yes, that was a Lion King reference. And yes, the live action one just came out, didn't it? I think. I think. Or it's about to. And a lot of people were bitching that it's just straight remake, but with some stuff cut out. I'm like, well, what did you expect? Just go watch the original. Impressive, I know. Very Let's few the... can achieve a mastery of the sky. Volume up. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. It turned down off the cutscene. My ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not pardon me for being so blunt. 
Let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness sealing sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. I like him. Unless you think you can prove me wrong. Maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? He's bitter at the wall and thinks he's better than everyone else. He reminds me of myself. Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I think I'm better than everyone else. Just a lot of people. You know, there's a lot of idiots in the world. You know, you spend enough time online, you see a lot of them. I'm sure you can, you can identify with that. A lot of fucking morons online. And in the cutscene, I turn back now. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Mwah. Mwah. Uh, descendant! Descendant, are you alright? My apologies. Also, I'm not a descendant. I'm the real Link. But if he wasn't a goddamn mute, he could tell you that himself. My apologies, I fear I've said far too much. If there is anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. I like the idea that we just zoned out for several minutes there, and she's just like... Hello? Could be... Descendant! Wiggy wiggy! Alright, so... What? Uh, so... <laughs> try a save. Wasn't expecting that to show up. Uh, yeah, so, like they said, I believe we could just... Oh... Where is the fly range? What is that I'm looking at? Is that... Yeah, that's the thing. You know, the thing. Fly range is... Is... Somewhere. Where the bloody hell is the fly range? I think it's that way. Maybe it has to be because they've marked it off there. Yeah, the way this is set up, you would think you go that way. And, uh, that's probably what I did the first time, and then I was like, oh shit, I went the wrong way. So, we're going this way, basically. Also, we should check what's going on up here on top of this ginormous-ass pillar, because let's be honest, if there's not a cork seed up there, slap my thighs and call me Sally. Because I bet you anything, my name ain't Sally. My name... is Sally. Shit. Oh! a uh, damn. Apparently, if you snap him in the skull, I'll kick you in the skull. Two grand. If you snap them in the skull, they just insta die. I didn't realize that. I thought we took a more. Yeah, the fly range is like right over there. I'm gonna try and nick a horse. Oh, well, look who's here who wasn't here before. How convenient. Yeah. I forgot so I've got to turn the blade. Take up again and have a jack back back. I don't know you, and I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Sounds like a Dynasty Warriors character. Don't pursue Lubu. Don't fall behind. I turned that up for nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Hello. You need something busy can help you. Help me with what exactly? Varmado, let me get this straight. Some random hylian wants to help me bring down the Vine Beast Farmer, though I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Yeah, that one. Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Teba, but you already knew that. My name? My name is Alberto Del Rio. But you, you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. Am I right? That's right. Just like the Elder to trust any fool wandering into town. Now look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rito warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one thing, only one way I'm going back to Rito Village, and that is in a bunny bag. Once the Vine Beast Varmado falls from the sky, if I have to kill Mado, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. You can't kill it, man. It's a giant bloody machine. And Donatello, he does them. We should call him up. And then maybe the Ghostbusters. Because there's also a ghost in there. Then let's get started. Are you serious, bro? Ha! Well, far be it from me to talk you off the ledge. Literally. But as the Elder said, the only way to stop Divine Beast Vomit, though, is to get inside it. Giggity. Fair chance of that happening. There's no way we can set foot inside my though. Actually, no woman is unconquerable. Not only are you wingless, you're brainless too. You 
feathery fuck. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter the Divine Beasts are the five champions of old, and unfortunately for us, the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. If it hadn't been for Ganon, that scamp. Oh, never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Mado one step at a time. If we approach Mado recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we can even get close, so I'm going to need to test you before I can take you with me. We root to warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are so strong here that a person could just open up a cloth over the head and float up easily. Now, let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets set up in this valley in three minutes. You know? I think I can probably do that. Hmm. And go destroy five targets with your arrows, son. Are there any more arrows behind me? Because, you know, we nicked them before. Have they respawned? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, he did say three minutes, so I ain't in no rush. <laughs> let's, let's go out. Alright, you know what? There's none there. Fair enough. Uh, I bet we can probably do this without even... <laughs> Keep it up. Ooh, good stuff. That's it. Just cheese it. Cheese it. Cheese it. One more. One all. Oh, I wonder if we can do it, everyone. Perfect. <laughs> okay, come on back. Uh, sure. Back. Air quotes. Air quotes! Beautiful. Yeah, a skilled archer. What's that chest about? It was as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. I've got to tell you, like, when you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I can tell you the real do. You must have seen a battle or two. Hundreds of them. Hundreds. I believe it. Link, I feel I've heard the name somewhere before. What? <laughs> you muppet. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Mado, it's now or never. Uh, I'll get you into position so you can give its cannons all you've got. Inside that treasure chest is a bow I've modified. Take it and let me know when you're ready. I will drop the current one that I have because it is crap. So let's drop this not bad boy. And we'll take your, you know, modified bow. What's modified about this? Falcon bow, attack plus five. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it seems to be the same, but just, you know, more damage. So what do, oh, we talk to you when we're ready. Yeah, let's make sure we save. That would probably be smart. Can you believe the record time in which we are getting to the next Divine Beaks after the first one? You all thought it was going to be another 32 pass, didn't you? You are crazy. Normal arrows won't put a dent in those cannons. You need to hit them with bomb arrows. Oh, I've got a bunch. These are a precious commodity, so don't expect me to do this again, but take these bomb arrows. 20! Thanks, pal. Also, it's a bit cold up there. You want to prepare a warm meal or bring some warm clothes? I'm ready. I'm wearing the bird gear. We're good. Hmm. All right. Let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why risk your life to bring down Meadow? To rescue the Princess Zelda. I gotta get laid, man. It's been a hundred years. Do you know the blue boys I'm dealing with? And I don't mean the cold weather, man. Zelda, but that's the name of the princess for Riley saved 100 years ago at Hyrule Castle. I don't know what she has to do with the Divine Beast Farmer, though, but whatever. As long as you're helping me bring down Meadow, your motivation is fine by me. Be a pussy or whatever. I ain't gonna judge you. Right, get on. Oh, I intend to. Oh, you mean on you? I meant Zelda. I meant after we rescue her. I'm a pervert. I'm sorry. Hmm. Alright, it's showtime. Man, even I feel like I'm going to freeze up here. Look at that big old nose. This Divine Beast Farmer, though, it has a, its barrier up again. What a pain in the ass. What's wrong, like, too scared to talk? Let's go over the plan. See those cannons? I surely do. I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy it. The cannons got it so far. If you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraw for a while. I'll tell you the sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Meadow's barrier. It's impenetrable. But whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. Yeah, I think we're good. Unless we need stage three, but I doubt it. We can move whenever you're ready. I'm ready, man. Get on with it. All right. Now, go blow off those cannons, pal. Oh, yeah. I, well, all right. Fair enough. I am floating. I am floating. Come on and fly. Please distract it. Gracias, sir. Gracias. It's probably about there, right? Kobe! And then probably there-ish. 
Uh, yeah, Kobe? Uh, that's, a, that's a Kobe right there. That's, that's a Kobe. All right, so he did say not to get too close to the barrier. So, you know, let's actually listen to the NPC for once in our damned lives. Yes, I'm dragging you down with me. You don't listen either. We're in this together. Did I turn the volume down? Hold on, hold the phone here. Oh, sorry to ruin the moment. Yeah, okay, I did. Just making sure. It seems kind of loud to me, but it would appear we're fine. So there's probably four cannons, right? I mean, it's a Zelda game. Things usually come in threes, but considering its uh, shape, there's probably one on the other wing or whatever. Or is this a wing? I don't know. I don't know. Should do it. Lovely. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Could it be? Could Jason do this first time without completely fucking it up? Tune in next time! Would it be great if I just cut the episode down? I mean, I don't know. I might. I currently don't plan to, but it might be funny to do at the time, you know? Hooray, I did it! I'm the greatest swordsman that ever lived. But Jason, that was a bow. That's the joke. It's like in Austin Powers when he says that train has sailed, baby. Trains don't sell. Boats sell. That's the joke. I only play an idiot. Well done, Link. That thing is history. God, six I gotta turn the bloody volume back in. Play cutscene. Did it. You want? You won't say anything now. Mayday! Mayday! Bad news, Link. It looks like I got hit pretty good back there. I think... I think I need to get back to the flight range. I just hope that... I can make it back. You head down to Meadow. Good luck! It's all you! Oh, he's got a bird thumb. That's creepy. That's like Sonic's weird little man hands in the movie trailer. You'll know what I'm talking about. I turn the volume back down. Lovely. I hate messing around with that, but the cutscenes are so quiet. If I have the game loud enough for the cut, you know what I mean. Like if I double the volume, because I'm literally doubling the volume during the cutscenes. If I do that during the regular game, is it gonna? You're not gonna hear me. And let's be honest, it's important that you hear me. Because otherwise, why would you watch me? You just watch someone who's actually good at the game, you know? You don't watch for the gameplay, let's be honest here. Travel gate register, cool! Can you bloody Adam and Eve it? We're actually well, inside the second seen that face before. Divine Beast. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. In case you're wondering, no, I'm not going to turn the volume up every time this guy speaks. That would be ridiculous. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, Link's not much of a talker. Thing you want to do is find yourself a map. Helps to have a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? I mean, probably. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Can you make it there? All right. I'm going to end the episode here, though, depending on how I edit this. Maybe I won't. But for now, I'm ending the recording session here, and I'm just going to assume this is going to be the end of the episode. It probably is. So we finally did it. This took me two and a half bloody hours from start to finish, you know, after part 32. So the beginning of part 33. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I don't know what I'm telling you. You don't even know this. This is not important. I guess it might be interesting to you because you'll see how much I cut out. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. As always, I really would appreciate a like and a comment. Thank you so much for the support in the series thus far. You guys are awesome. I genuinely mean that. Thank you. And thank you to this month's patrons who are... I hit the desk with the back of my hand. Pedro Marquez, Hitbox, Black Wolf, 8994. Arcarus, George Blackwell, Luke Smoke Soldier, Vincent Clark, Luna Parker, Rex Burma, Philip Rep. Jeremy Burris, Marcin Sisniewski, Arwina, 1997, Shadow Sephiroth, 666, Billy Dying, Bloodpire, and Miss Justice, 83. Thank you so much, everyone. You're awesome. See you next time for more Legend of Zelda.
breath of the world.